Today on the channel, you're cordially invited. Hopefully you brought a gift as you're here for the unboxing of the wedding of Padme and Anakin. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for our daily Star Wars unboxings and reviews in 2021 and possibly beyond. And like I said, you're all here. You're all here for the wedding. I'm glad you got the invite. I'm glad you could show up for it. As old Padme and Anakin are bringing their love together here at the table in figure form. I'm not sure if we've ever had a couple uh, wedding figures before. Have we ever had figures from a toy line where uh, two from their wedding dresses, wedding gowns, wedding suits, whatever you want to call it. Have we had that in the past? I can't think of anything off the top of my head, but leave me a comment if you do know down below. But remember, for all your Star Wars needs and a whole lot more, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. So we're going to unbox these figures just like we always do. The appetizers are coming soon. Uh, be ready for some of those. I think there's uh, some good stuff to come. Uh, we'll get ready for those appetizers. And then, of course, we'll have the main course and the wedding cake at the end, uh, if you stick around that long. But we'll see. Uh, but today, we're going to do it like we normally do on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We'll see where it goes from there. And we got to start with the ladies first. So Padme's up first. We're going to take a look at the packaging on her. Saga Collection, I think these are called. Uh, this is from Attack of the Clones, of course. It shows that. That's how you could tell what figure you're getting from what movie. Is this line of figures crossed over all the different movies, as you guys are probably aware. But Attack of the Clones on this one, that pivotal wedding scene. I love that we get a little diorama base in with this one, too. So that's interesting. And it looks like a bouquet as well. Oh, my gosh. Who's going to catch that? I bet it'll be Tebow. My boy Tebow. He'll catch that. Even though Tebow wasn't maybe alive at this point in time. Not sure the average age of an Ewok. We'll have to investigate that. Uh, but we'll see who catches that bouquet. But it's an interesting one. We uh, Padme in wedding dress, so very interesting. On the back, we got the usual back packaging of these. We got a big blurb up top. We'll read Star Wars logo, a little glamour shot, figure glamour shot, kind of investigating what this figure looks like out of the package, so you know to spend your hard earned money if this is something you really want. We got a cross sell down below. UPCs, ten Jedi Master points. It's not often you get invited to a wedding and they give you a gift, but hey, here we are, ten more points. So let's pull Padme out of the package. Whoa, hold the phone. Stop the clock. I got going too crazy into this wedding. I forgot to read the back of Padme's card. So let's read that real quick. With her life threatened by assassination. Oh, whenever you get threatened by assassination, that's when you need to get married. Uh, the young senator retreats to her home planet of Naboo, assigned to protect her in Jedi apprentice Anakin Skywalker who stirs feelings within Padme that she is quick to deny. Feelings that, if realized, could lead to a destructive course. Yet, when the Separatist threat erupts into war, Padme and Anakin choose to defy his Jedi vows and unite in a forbidden marriage. One destined for a tragic end. So there you go. See you later. Let's see what this wedding is all about. See you later off to the side. How about a little plastic prison? Everybody loves a little plastic prison, especially on your wedding day. And there it is, old Padme. Looks like her bou bouquet is taped in. Got that out. Her bouquet looks like a, a head of broccoli. So I, I don't know if that's kind of what they did back in the Star Wars universe. It's like, hey, here is the ceremonial broccoli for you to hold. That's what it looks like. Pull Padme out. There it is. See you later up high. Like a Frisbee. Nice diorama piece here. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. also doubles as a stand for your figures. This is cool. Nice attention to detail on this as well. You got kind of like the little angel guys. Uh, I don't know. It looks like Kid Icarus to me, if you guys remember the old Nintendo game. But a nice little uh, banister here, like in ornate like decorations going on. Looks very uh, ceremonial for a wedding. So I do like that a whole lot. And then we get the Padme figure. Doesn't look like Padme at all, so I guess you can pretend it's somebody else if you really want to. Uh, but very similar to a chess piece. Yes, a chess piece. We get that occasionally in our Star Wars universe. Not a ton of action here. Her elbows do have a hinge that move side to side. She can hold her broccoli, of course. Let's see. Slide that in there. Not very well, though, I don't think. It just kind of has to rest on her like this. But that's okay. And then there goes the broccoli. Fell right in the ranch dressing. You can't see the ranch dressing that we have over here for the appetizers that are coming for this weapon. W weapon? <laughs> Wedding? <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. But it's a very nice gown here, but it is a chess piece. There, there's no movement outside of these hands. She does have legs underneath, no movement. I do like, 
Yeah, she's got, what's that little thing uh, when chicks get married? Yeah, chicks. Uh, when girls get married, they put it around their, like, thigh. It's like the, the thing you pull off or whatever. I forget what that thing's called. She does have one of those on under here. That is a nice attention to detail because unless you're really looking under here, you're not going to see something like that. But it does have that on here, so that's pretty cool. Uh, that's a nice attention to detail you wouldn't think we'd get with figures of this uh, price point and this size. But that is kind of nice. Uh, but nothing comes out. It's just your traditional Star Wars female legs under here. We see it with a lot of uh, the chest piece type figures. But she does plug into her display stand, which is good. So we'll plug her in right there. And there you go. You can put her right next to Anakin. They're ready for a marriage. So there's her Padme. It's okay. It's good for what it is, I'd say. You don't need a ton of articulation in a wedding pose. Uh, you just need to stand there. And that's exactly what she's doing. So then we get Anakin Skywalker. Now, Anakin is an interesting one. From the old secret ceremony. I should That's what they call it, the secret ceremony. It's the rush to being wed. I think Anakin lost his hand and said, this changes my whole life. I lost my hand. I better get married ASAP. I think that's what happens when most people lose their hands. Uh, maybe I, somebody can fact check that, but I'm not sure. But there it is. Familiar packaging we got there. Uh, very bulky, very big Anakin Skywalker. It looks like a young David Byrne from Talking Heads. Uh, you know, big jacket going on here. I don't know what's going on. Why, why has it got to be so big? Got some effects as well with this one. So we'll see what those are about. On the back, we got all the cross sell, all that kind of stuff we got. We got the glamour shots. We got the figure glamour shots. And we got a big blurb. We'll read that blurb, see what's going on. And of course, we got the Jedi Master Points down below. All right, Anakin Skywalker. After a brief convalescence where Anakin's severed arm was replaced with a mechanical one, he accompanied Senator Amidalia back to Naboo. There, at a secluded lake retreat, the two were secretly wed by Naboo holy men. Who's this holy man? Uh, in a ceremony witnessed only by C-3PO and R2-D2. So does the marriage count if droids witness it? I don't know. Can they be the uh, person? As How does that work? I don't know. Anakin made his choice in defiance of the rules and traditions decreed by the Jedi Code. It may have been the start of a new life, but it was another step to Anakin's eventual destruction. So there you go. And he even comes with his robotic hand. Always good to get a robotic hand. See you later. See you later. There it goes. And we, we lost our little effect, so he won't be a part of the Plastic Prism. But Plastic Prism, we got a very blue, very short lightsaber here. That's interesting. And then, like I said, Anakin in a very big coat. Very big coat going on here. Too big of a coat, if you ask me. How do you even get him out of here? See you later. Get out of here. All right, Anakin, what do you got for me here? It's an okay Anakin figure. A little loose in the head. Uh, power of the Force style articulation, legs up and down, arms up and down. But then you do get a little twist at the elbow, a little bit of stickiness just starting here. The head very loose on it. The waist is very loose as well. Uh, and you've got ankles. Wow, you even got ankles on this one. It does. This is the start of ankles, I guess, for Star Wars, is it does look a little clunky, if you ask me. He does have his gold kind of uh, robot hand going on. So we do like that. I love a good robot hand. And there it is. But not enough articulation in the arms here for me. I wish we could get a little bit, I don't know, very interesting with the cloak. And then you got that blast effect. So you can put that. I don't know if that's very cool, actually. Can't even get it on. Doesn't want to stay. Come on. There it is. I don't know. How's that look? Looks a little suspect, actually. I don't know. I don't know. It's okay. It's a little loose, though. I don't like it. And the head's loose as well. He does have that annoying braid, that Jedi braid off to the side. Uh, and then you got his big robe that you can just kind of slide over him, like so. I'll take that out of there. So that's okay, I guess. I don't know. That's an awfully big robe for a little figure, just a little bit too big. You can put her next to Annie and Padme right here. He's going to need a stand, though. He's not going to stand with this heavy coat. It's going to knock him right over. I wish there would have been two peg stands and this diorama was just a hair bigger so you could get these guys kind of to stay together. There she go. I had Padme hold on to Anakin. She's going to hold on to his robe and stick right there. Oh, this, uh, that's an interesting one. So this little broccoli, head of broccoli here, you can stick it right there. Look at that. Fits right in there. Perfect. That's a nice touch. That's a nice touch. I like that a lot. 
So I don't know. If you're looking to reenact weddings out there, especially in the Star Wars universe, you know what? This set's probably for you. If you love weddings, if you love to reenact weddings, you need this one. Uh, I need to get C-3PO and R2-D2. Another use for more of those figures as they were the special guests to this wedding, as you guys, uh, as we read on there. So uh, a lot of interesting stuff going on with this one. I love the deep cut. Once again, Star Wars toys, they go to the deepest of the deep cuts, and we appreciate that from time to time. But what do you guys think? Any comments from you guys? Was it one of the best weddings you've ever witnessed? You guys tell me in the comments. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Instagram. Of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. So for weddings everywhere, I got to go make sure the uh, wedding cake's coming very soon. Uh, make sure the caterer is okay. So I'm going to go do that. But for weddings everywhere, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.